Welcome back. You're watching Wake Up with Cheddar. President Trump and Chinese Vice Premier Liu signed a phase one deal that will roll back some tariffs and increase Chinese buying of U.S. goods. The U.S. and China, the world's two largest economies, have been engaged in a trade conflict for the past 18 months. Here to discuss is Melissa Armo, founder and owner of the stock Swoosh, the Will Consumers. Uh, Melissa, thank you for joining us. Um, do you think consumers are going to uh, feel an impact from this trade deal? Honestly, I think the farmers will feel an impact. As far as everyone else, not so much because they're still keeping the tariffs on into probably the next phase two if a phase two in fact gets done. I really don't see that much that occurred here other than the fact that China promises to buy more agriculture from the farmers, which is really going to help the farmers that have been struggling throughout this. As far as consumers, I really don't see much difference in what's going to happen with consumers. How do you think investors can capitalize on this phase of the trade deal? Well, we're up this morning. Markets gapping up this morning in every market index, in the QQQs and the SPY and the Diamond. So the market's probably going to have a rally today. The market has been anticipating that some kind of deal was going to get done. Even though this isn't really what everybody wanted, everyone wanted a big trade deal right away. So instead, they decided to break it up into two parts. But I think the hardest part is coming up ahead. And again, I think they're going to push that off past the election. And again, it could take several more months or even years to finish that because that's the most difficult part. We're talking about the part that includes the intellectual property. So for, for right now, the market is rallying. For right now, the market's just happy that no more tariffs were put on. So we're seeing a very positive reaction this morning. This is a buy opportunity, quite frankly, in the market. We're, we're, we're making new highs right now this morning. Uh, in terms, though, of that second part of the trade deal, you just mentioned that some of the bigger and more complicated issues still haven't really been addressed. Uh, do you think that perhaps we could see some more trouble down the line? I know investors do not like uncertainty. I definitely think that this last part, which is the critical part, is going to be the toughest and could take a long time. And I think potentially, even though with this phase one, the Trump administration said they're not going to put any more tariffs on, what could occur, which would be a negative for the market, is if they don't see progress, say Trump gets reelected in 2020, and then they continue to negotiate. If they don't see progress, with that second phase, then Trump could potentially put more tariffs on again, which would create volatility in the market. I think any halt in further talks would create volatility in the market. We're really not seeing it now. And we've had such a bullish start to 2020. We gapped up and started the year incredibly bullish. We've had very few red days at all in the market so far to start this year. Now, I realize it's only January 16th, but I mean, when you look at the momentum from 2019, it's as if it's just ongoing, carrying right on through into 2020. That said, do you think that the uh, ripple effects or any of the, the problems that we were talking about having to do with a trade war with China, do you think that that was overblown? The market doesn't really seem to be impacted by it. Well, the market's happy that China and the U.S. are still talking. As long as, like I said, as long as all the talks are going on, as long as no more tariffs are put on, I think the market will continue and shake off any any hiccup that would be a tweet. But if more tariffs get put on or if the talks are halt halted, then the market's going to, going to shake around and possibly have a drop off. I know a lot of people waited. They didn't buy the, any pullbacks in the market because they wanted a deep pullback. And I don't look at that. I look at uh, momentum. I look at gaps to look at the market. That's what I'm saying today is a buy opportunity in the market. But I, I know that a lot of people have missed this rally. So some people are waiting kind of for a sell off to happen before going long again. One thing I will say, though, even the same we see some volatility at any point in 2020, whether it's because of the election, whether it's because of the impeachment, whether it's because of something with tariffs or China, I still think the market holds the uptrend. I'm still a firm believer that the market is going to continue to be bullish for the next several years. The tax cuts that were put in place for corporations were so lucrative for those companies. And, and, and I just don't see that stopping anytime soon. What happens, though, if President Trump doesn't win uh, the election in November? I mean, just in terms of um, the uncertainty surrounding that, if a Democrat were to win the election, what does that mean? As you mentioned, phase two is where a lot of these big issues are going to be resolved. 
I don't know who would get elected if Trump wouldn't get elected. Quite frankly, to me, there really is no uh, front runner. And I think if a Democrat would get elected, it depends who it would be if they would continue with the Chinese tariff negotiations. However, I will say this, it's very low odds that Trump is not going to get reelected. When you look at the economy, it is very strong. When you look at unemployment rates, it's very low. Uh, we're at a point where you say almost everyone is working, and that is good. Uh, when you look at, we're talking about the consumers, consumers are spending. Look at the sales that we had. We had record-breaking sales for uh, the holiday season. So uh, by and large, and also the fact that the market's rallying, so people's 401ks are increasing in value, by and large, I would be shocked if Trump would not get reelected. So I, I think it's low odds that that wouldn't occur. But say a Democrat would get elected, it really would depend who it would be. Remember, Bloomberg's still in the race. He didn't participate in the in the uh, event last night. But I still think that Bloomberg could be out there and surprise people as far as the Dems go. All right. Melissa Armo, founder and owner of The Stock Swoosh. Melissa, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Have a great day.